Let's follow the path of Dusty's trail, oh Dusty's trail, Dusty's trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop. Come what may, mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's trail. Ouch! You're supposed to be trimming my hair, not pulling it out. Freckles never complains when I trim his tail. Freckles? So that's how the scissors got so dull, huh? <laughs> hey, jumping Jehoshaphats, what's that? I just cut off your cow lick. No, no. Right. Buongiorno, signori. Whatever you say. Oh, I'm Callahan, wagon master. This here's Dusty. I'm Count Arturo, the world's greatest magician. A magician? Yeah. Show us a trick, huh? Show us a trick, huh? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Brookhaven, this is uh, uh, Count Arturo. He's a magician. Oh, a count? I don't oh. believe it. Oh. Buongiorno, Count Arturo. Piacere. Piacere. Uh, may I introduce my wife, Mrs. Uh, uh, Signora Brookhaven? Oh, Your Excellency. <laughs> Madame? Oh, you, my dear lady? Oh. <laughs> Show us a trick, huh? Show us a trick, huh? But of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, oh we'd be so oh. honored, Count. Oh, we pray God, excuse me. Please forgive me while I prepare for the performance. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, thank we'll be waiting. Did you see that? Oh, 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 did you see that? Jesus, run into flowers. Oh, Look at that. Oh, oh, this is marvelous, darling. Oh, Zeno. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I must have fallen asleep. You're going to be wealthy beyond my wildest dreams. Wealthy? From such a small wagon train? It is a small wagon train, but the jewels, they are big. <laughs> Madame? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Usual routine, boss? Yes, I'll keep them busy with my act while you go through their things and find the jewels. You know, you're right. There is a lot of money in magic, uh, but it's not in theaters. It's playing wagon trains. You bet. Well, I'm off to find an assistant for the show while you, my little friend, must remain very invisible. There you are, my fair ladies. I'm just dying to see your show. <laughs> kind of anxious myself. Cari signorina, I need someone to assist me, and I was hoping one of you would do me the honor. Miss Betsy? Oh, oh no. I always got stage fright in high school. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to say. Your beauty would speak for itself. Oh, no, I, I couldn't. What about you, Miss Lulu? Sure, why not? <laughs> You've been on stage before? Lots of times. Of course, they usually had runways. <laughs> but I'd be glad to help you out, Count. Oh, grazie, signorina Lulu. Oh, you grazie, so nice, Count. What do I have to do? Uh, uh, first, you'll introduce me to the audience. Oh, yeah. You mean like... And now, here he is. 
the great Count Arturo. <laughs> Signore, signori, enter with me the land of mystery as I perform my first feat of magic. I will need the assistance of two gentlemen from the audience. Mr. Callahan, Dusty, would you be so kind, please? Mr. Callahan, may I borrow your hat, per favore? Por favor, eh? Oh, that's Italian for please. Oh, yeah. di prestigio, magia nera, cappello magico. Would you stay for my next trick, please? Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me, Dusty. Dusty, would you step in, per favore? How about you, per favore? No, no, he asked you, Dusty. That's the Dusty who mustn't keep the audience waiting. <laughs> <laughs> the instructions in the cover of the box. Follow them. Miss Lulu, a sword, please. Sword, yeah, yes, sir. You're doing? <laughs> Another sword, please. Thank you. You must slow it down. I can't read this stuff that fast. I can't read it at all. <laughs> Another sword, me, Lulu? Are you sure he can't get hurt in there? Of course not. I've performed this trick many times and never lost anyone yet. Up, isn't he, dear? <laughs> God, you're so very clever. Yes, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall remove the swords and open the box. Then we shall see if the gentleman has survived. Will you please help me, Mr. Callahan? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm 
gonna go through life like a pretzel. No, no, no. Come on, straighten up here. Just relax. You'll be all right. Ha. Come on. Zeno, have you got the jewels? I couldn't find the boss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my performance. But because you've been such a gracious audience, I shall give another show tonight, in which I will astound you all with my amazing disappearing act. Oh, <laughs> Are you yeah. there? That's fine. Yeah, look, look, come on, try to straighten up, little, little pal. Here, push that thing out of the way, Lulu. I got to get him down off of here. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Lee! Whoop, whoop. That's it, Whoop. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Oh, come on, Zeno, don't worry. Tonight, during my disappearing act, we'll find the jewels together. When we leave, we'll have a fortune. You mean I won't have to live in this trunk anymore? Oh, no, I'll buy you a bigger trunk. <laughs> Here. To Mrs. Brooke Heaven and her lovely diamond. <laughs> Say, Cal, could you show me? <laughs> he? Who? Oh. Why, it's a dummy. Oh, yes, of course, the dummy. I forgot to tell you. I'm also a ventriloquist. <laughs> sure had me fooled. You look so real. Thank you. Zena, let's show our friend Dusty how smart you are. See? See. How much are two and two? Two and two is four. Benny, and four and four. Four and four is eight. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be asking the questions to show how smart you are, dummy. If he finds out how smart I am, he will find out that you are the dummy. Right? Right. You're calling me a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, my little friend, it's time for you to go into your trunk for a little nap. Are you sleepy? I am sleepy. Into the trunk you go. Into the trunk I go. <laughs> Dusty, can you open the trunk for me, please? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Gee, that's really great how you do that. If you had the time, could you show me how to do it someday? Uh, oh, perhaps some other time when Zeno is not sleeping. <laughs> Zeno, are you sleeping, see? I am sleeping, see. <laughs> see. Yay! And now, Count Arturo, perform a vanishing feat which astounded the crown heads of Europe. Thank you, Miss Lulu. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the cabinet is completely enclosed. There is no way to escape. I will go into the cabinet, draw the curtain, and my assistant, the beautiful Miss Lulu, will count to ten slowly. Then she will open the curtain again, and I will have vanished. If you wish, ladies and gentlemen, you may come up and examine the cabinet yourself. Are you ready? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Where are those jewels? They were not in their luggage. What could they be? It's got to be a sliding panel or a trap door. It's just carefully hidden. I know how he did it. How? He went out through this little hole right here. <laughs> oh, nobody could have got out through. Dusty. Well, he's a magician, isn't he? <laughs> oh. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Are you looking for me? What? <laughs> Zeno, stay hidden while I get our horses. Zeno? Do you hear me? 
Oh, Miss Betsy, I didn't see you. I'm kind of tired, and I wanted to say goodbye in case I missed you in the morning. How oh, very thoughtful of you. Count Otoro, why were you just knocking on your door? Oh, oh that, oh, that was just a superstition of mine, which I do after every show. It's called knocking on wood for life. Well, in that case, I'll knock on wood oh, for you, thank too. You, thank you. You call me boss? <laughs> Well, Count, I still don't see why you have to leave in the middle of the night. I mean, at least you could wait till sunup. Oh, yes, you did. Thank you very much, but I can't waste any time if I am to get to San Francisco for my big opening. Your horse is all hitched up, Count. Grazie. Gesundheit. Sure glad you came by. I never met a magician before. And I never met anyone like you before. <laughs> goodbye, Dusty. Hey, where's Betsy? Oh, she already said goodbye before she retired. Oh. Goodbye, Andy. Bye. Mr. Callahan? Ah, Count. Thank you. Have a good trip. Thank you very much. Arriba, Dunchy. Dunchy? Dunchy? Get up. Mr. Callahan, I made up my mind. I'm going to be a magician. <laughs> you already are. I am? Yeah. You disappear every time I need you. <laughs> Figured out how to do that trick. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> Abracadabra magico. <laughs> now you got a rabbit on your head. <laughs> well, if there's a rabbit up there, he just laid an egg. <laughs> Mrs. Brookhaven. Ah, what's wrong? We've been robbed. All of my precious jewelry is and gone. Not a carrot left. Oh, who could commit such a dastardly crime? It's obvious. It must be Count Arturo. Yeah. That must be why he was in such a hurry to get out of here. Oh, I can't believe the Count is a thief. He was such a sincere hat kisser. How could he have stolen the jewelry? We were all with him when he was doing his magic show. That must have been when he did the disappearing act. Hey, has anybody seen Betsy? I've looked all over camp for her. She didn't retire to the wagon like the Count said. Mrs. Brookhaven's jewels and Betsy, both gone. Oh, then forget the jewels. We must find Betsy. Suppose Betsy saw the Count take the jewels. Right. Right what? I don't know, but if you said it, it's got to be right. <laughs> if Betsy saw the Count, then the Count's done something with her to protect himself. Or taken her with him. Let's go after him, Mr. Kelly. No, no, too many of us would endanger Betsy. You stay here and take charge of the camp. Come on, Dusty, let's get our guns and we'll go after that no-account count. Oh, they simply must find dear, dear Betsy. Maybe they'll find my jewelry, too. I hope so, dear. Without your diamonds, how would I find you in the dark? <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? The Brook Heavens certainly have excellent taste in jewelry. Ah, uh, dear Miss Betsy, don't be angry at me. We can share all this, if you want to. Never. Be practical. Everyone must watch out for himself. This ring could buy us a villa in Capri. And this necklace <laughs> could buy us Capri. You'll never get to enjoy any of it. Mr. Callahan will come after you. Mr. Callahan and Dusty? <laughs> they never could follow us, even if we left the trail. Oh. Which we didn't. He's got Betsy and the Brookhaven jewels. Let's slip around behind him, take him unawares. Uh. Not so close. Yeah. Yeah.
What is my name? My name is Dusty. <laughs> My name is Dusty. If your name is Dusty, then who am I? Now count. Ah, the show is over. You all right, Betsy? Yes, Mr. Callahan. He stole the Brookhaven's jewelry. Uh, don't shoot, Mr. Callahan. That could hurt. Hmm. Uh, mighty tight. I'll take those. They all here? All in there. Dusty, I don't trust him. Search him. I'll take this, Mr. Callahan. Thank you. Well, my friends, now the glove is on the other foot. <laughs> I thought you said that was a dummy. What do you know? A real live dummy. That's Zeno, Arturo's assistant. Zeno, get Dusty's gun. That's a very small gun. What is it, a three-shooter? <laughs> you know, I knew it wasn't me to sneeze, it was you. Thank you. For what? For saying the zone tight. <laughs> Here, it just gets stuck sometimes. Let me help you. Put your hands away. I'll try it. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> It seemed that the glove is on the other foot again, huh, Count? <laughs> you can't win them all, Mr. Callahan. Hey, Dusty. You know, I think I figured out how to do that egg in the hat trick. Really? Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Now, keep an eye on that. Why don't you use your own hat? You use my hat? I use your hat. <laughs> Abacadabra, magical, arrivederci. Yep, yep, yep. Do that. You're a better magician than Arturo. Huh. Yeah. <laughs>